Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. And this time we're taking a look at a game that I found on sale not too long ago. And uh, it's kind of a... I'd say it's an action platformer, a little bit of Castlevania, a little bit of just sort of kind of 8-bit action, melee, a little bit of range stuff. Uh, but it is the uh, Demons of Asterberg. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that last word correctly. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a 8, 16-bit, like I said, action platformer, Castlevania, um, Metroidvania type of thing. I don't know that it's really Metroidvania. Like there's definitely some, like, oh, you're solving one little puzzle here to go somewhere else, to go somewhere else. But the at least what I've played so far, it almost seems sort of level based. So, you know, maybe something like Castlevania Four or something like that. Um, there's really not a lot of options in here. Um, nothing really as far as accessibility that I can really find. But I will say the text is actually nice and quite large. I like the contrast on the menus here and everything like that. So let's just go into, I'm just going to go to a new game here. We have normal, okay. So we got normal, presumably I unlock a harder difficulty if I beat it, because otherwise why would there be a difficulty option if there's only one right now? And it's put in this little window here i don't know if this was released on like a console at some point or what the spiel was but this kind of it's kind of giving me like a sega master system or sega genesis vibe but listen to this music this is so right out of castlevania i mean it's different but it I could totally see this being in a Castlevania game. I got my dude here, I've got a sword attack, I've got a jump. But I'm really getting like a... It doesn't have that like... Um, like chainsaw, sharp, you know, a Genesis sound. But there's just something Sega about it to me that it just... For some reason. So we're just going to kind of continue here. But I mean, yeah, listen to this music, man. It's just, it's definitely... I can get some Castlevania vibes from that, and that's not a bad thing. Um, the text up here, a little smaller. I get, uh, admittedly, I haven't really been paying much attention to it. Um, you know, again, voice acting would be cool, but a game like this, 8-16-bit, you really can't expect that necessarily. Um, they're going for the old school look. I'll let you pause, and if you want to read the little dialogue up there, you get the silhouettes. I'm not really paying attention because I'm here for the gameplay. It looks like we're getting experience points of some sort. I have not played too far into this. I got to the first boss, kind of got my ass kicked, and then it seemed like I had to turn. I had to start over. I can do a wall jump. Got a little combo there. Hey, ow, not nice, dude. Okay, we got our city here, our little village or whatever. They're running away. And uh, we can, let's jump up here, cause anything up here we can do? Not really, nothing good. Kill that guy chucking stuff at us. I gotta say, I'm digging the music. I'm digging the music. It's pretty good. Pretty easy to see overall so far. We got a dude up there. How do I get up there? Can I... Can I... I killed him, but can I get... Oops. Now, the weird thing is I'm used to A being the um, jump button, and that's normally how it works, but this is going old school where the right hand button, so B, is actually jump. So it's like your old school 
uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. So, I mean, it makes sense, but I'm just so used to modern, you know, kind of a A jump and then X attack. Uh, I just have to remember that. So this area, I gotta go down there in a little bit here, but we're gonna go forward and learn that we cannot go to where we need to be. Okay, we got this nice little uh, gate that has uh, been, we cannot get through it, so we are not gonna try. We're gonna go back. All right, and we fall down here. Okay, here we go. So now we get into more of the the maze-like stuff. And here's where it gets a little more challenging. So like I said, I got through all this stuff earlier. Uh, hopefully I won't die too many times here. Uh, let's see, I can... Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember why we need those. You'll see, though. So we got the boxes down there. Not much we can do about that for now. But soon. Kill that guy. Kill the little flying demon thing. There we go. Get all that stuff. Got some stuff there. Okay, we hit that. So now we've got this rising and lowering tide. <laughs> I love that. All right, get up there. Okay, now this part you gotta be quick. Hopefully I don't screw the dude. Oh, I forgot that it does that. Oh, gee, damn it. Oh, I didn't do it quite quick enough. All right, that was my bad. There was one part where I hit the wrong button too, so you gotta... There we go. Go down there and make me a platform, you stupid boulder. In Indy says hi. Okay, we got past that. Little rolling boulder of death trap there and we can so whoa that wasn't supposed to happen okay let's try that again Junk. get on there get on there oh really I wasn't even paying attention to my health oh it's gonna start me all the way back here well on the plus side I think because we hit that water, we hit that switch, I think, oh, maybe not, because this should rise. See, I need that water to happen so that uh, I can climb up to that top path up there, but apparently, apparently I got to do this over again because I suck. Shut up, you weird fly demon thing, whatever. Okay, we're going to jump up here, jump on these crates, and try not to suck. Rolling boulders. Jump, 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 jump. Oh no! That was my stupid... Oh wow, okay, well, you know what, hey. I did it a little bit differently, but we won in the end, so that's what counts. Okay, let's try not to suck and fall into the the pit here again. Wait for the elevator to come back. Skadoosh. Okay, what the hell killed me? Oh, that little thing. Demon. Okay, we need to jump up here. Oh, because there's another switch. That's right. That's why. Yeah, see, now we got water here. If I would have just done the one more screen. <sighs> yeah, this song, it, the, da, 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 it reminds me of something from the, like, something from Sega, and I'm just, it's not clicking for me. 
It's like a combination of Castlevania and something else. I remember on the Master System there was this Lord of the Sword game. I remember playing at my friend's house. This is old, old school Master System. I wonder if I'm kind of getting a vibe of that. Can't go that way. Look at all those harmful spikes. So let's head to the right here. Oh, I can go up there though. Oh, you know what? I never did do this. I never did do this last time. Let's check this out up here. Okay. Uh, what was the point of going up there? I don't know. Well, I don't want to get those spikes. Let's just keep moving. I don't want to fall down and get trapped. Okay, so we got a cage there. Now we got another type of enemy coming up here pretty soon. Okay, so we hit that. But, I mean, it, it's pretty easy to see so far. And I'm really liking what I'm playing. Um, but it seems like if you do lose your uh, set number of lives, it is like old school Castlevania or old school... Oh, jeez, that was stupid. Old school games where you just get a game over. You don't have endless continue. So you definitely have to be more mindful when you play. And not make mistakes. Okay, we'll hit that elevator. Jump up there. Up there, alright. Okay, we got waterfalls up here now. Okay, I can probably wall jump. There we go. So we got a little bit of mobility. Shut up. Okay. Heading over to the left here. <laughs> Just that weird buzzing sound. I kind of get a kick out of that. Yeah, those... Okay, you got to hit them like twice and then get away. There we go. Otherwise, they will smack you and it hurts really bad. Okay, more jumping, platformy, timing nonsense. Okay, so, ride the current. <laughs> Ow, okay. Uh, I think I gotta jump over here. Okay, I hit this. That brings... All right, okay, that extends that bridge thing. Okay, so... Uh, there we go. Doing it. Okay, we got some sort of scroll. Fall down here. Okay, where am I? I think... Uh, okay, I don't know that there's like a barrel over the right there. Um... Okay. Oh, you know what? I think we fall... Right, okay, now... I think I have my ranged attack now, so now we can go back up. So we got what we needed to down here in our little caverns. Shush. Yeah, okay, so jump on this. Hit our switch. And away. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong button. I wanted to hit the... That is a jump button. Okay, let's do that again. Let's not... There we go. Okay, so now... We can shoot the thingy that'll let us uh, get to our bridge. Root alley-oop. There we go. Okay, we gotta watch out for more dudes chunking crap at us. Kill him. And can we get up in there? No. K. 
kill it. Kill it again. Okay. So we can go back eventually. I think there's a... Oh. Die, you demon. You too. Okay, so if we jump up here... Jump up. Okay, now we're getting some gen... Now we're getting some Genesis... Now I'm hearing some saw blades here, some chainsaw. Oh yeah, that is Genesis as hell. That's gonna wear off any second now though, probably. Oh well. All right, had to get my stuff. Uh, let's see, how do I get up? Oh, I see, hang on. Here we go, chop our little box down. Now we can go up here. Chop that down. I find it funny that you can't, uh, at first I thought you could push the blocks, but it doesn't seem like you can. You can just kind of hit them. Okay. I am digging the music though, I do have to say. It's pretty good. Okay, so... Wait, is there something else I gotta... Oh, yes there is, okay. Shunk! Nope, not high enough. Now we are. Kill the barrel. Or the crate, I should say. Ooh, how the hell do I get... Oh! Oh no, uh, let's see. How the hell do I get up there? Oh, okay, I see. Eat, eat it, bud. Jump up there. Ow, I got hit a little bit. Alright, chop that down. Now we got another platform over to the right. A uh, very simple puzzle solving so far. Some platforming stuff, but oh yeah, you know, it's, uh, I like it so far. It's pretty good. And then I got to the boss, and I got, we're just going to be getting to the boss here any minute now. Oh shit, and then I do, wow, that, I walked right in, how, wow. That was embarrassingly stupid. Oh, now I got to do this whole part again. Dagnabbit, all right, fine. It's not hard, it's just... Wow, was I stupid. Okay. Eat it. Kill that guy. And chop that down, and now we can go back. And not, hopefully, kill myself again. By being dumb. How about that? Do, 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 do. Let's just go back down again here. Okay. Hit the right button this... Oh, these stupid... Small enemies. I didn't even see him right away. See, I'm losing all my lives now. Now I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, and I can start it back here? Okay, they actually put me back. Okay, well, whatever. Yep, get hit. Wow, like the longer I play, the worse I get. That's not supposed to happen. That's not the way this is supposed to go. I'm trying to be all cool and play fast and then I end up killing myself. But you get the idea what we're supposed to do. Um, when I'm not playing like a dork. So, we'll just jump back up here. Uh, anything else up here? No, it looks like all the, the stuff that you normally get, that stays collected. But all the enemies respawn because of course they do. All 
right. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why it put us back a screen when the, it spawned me before, it was fine. It put me at the beginning of this next screen, but oh well. Probably gonna die again, but hey. This will at least give you, again, just give you a look at the game. And, you know, yes, you do need some vision to be able to play it, because it is definitely all visual. But as far as low vision goes, at, at least the first level here, you know, yes, there are some background effects and things. Um, you know, there's some... I don't know if you call it parallax scrolling, but... Um, well, I'm getting tired of these little tiny rat dudes or whatever they are. Kill it. Okay, kill him. Knock that down. Now, I gotta find this stupid little thing that's killing me here. You can kill me twice. I don't know if it respawns. Oh, wait, do I gotta... Uh... No, okay. <laughs> Literally one jump away. All right, so yeah, I think we are at the boss level or the boss now and I'm probably gonna die immediately. Oh dear. And I died. Okay, oh, it's starting me back here again. Man. Well, I don't know that I really have to do that again, um, but let's see, if we pause it here. Gareth, let's see. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. There are time or lives. Yes, he's zero lives. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for an old school action platformer, um, this one is pretty solid. Uh, I'm kind of digging it, uh, aside from me playing rather badly toward the end of the video here. Uh, I'm kind of digging it. I like the music, I like the presentation. It just seems like some fairly spo uh, straightforward action. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 and twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegallycited.com and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.